There is a famous statue on the Tuskegee University campus in Alabama in which the school's founder, Booker T. Washington, is depicted as lifting the veil of ignorance from the eyes of an ex-slave. In Invisible Man, the protagonist sees such a statue and wonders if the founder is lowering rather than lifting the veil of ignorance. The question reflects the protagonist's mixed feelings about his college and his president, Dr. Bledsoe. Dr. Bledsoe, many experts believe, shared certain characteristics with Booker T. Washington. Washington, the famous black spokesman of the 1900s, had founded Tuskegee Institute, which emphasized the training of ex-slaves for the industrial trades and discouraged the protest of racial inequality. In 1896, Washington was dramatically catapulted into national prominence on the basis of a single speech, now known as the Atlanta Compromise Address. Washington urged Negroes to accept racial segregation and political inequality, but in return, he urged whites to support black education and economic opportunity. Washington's accommodation of racial subjugation came at a time when African Americans in the South were being disenfranchised, terrorized, and lynched in unprecedented numbers. Washington hoped to salvage the possibility of black progress through education and economic gain. Whites greeted Washington's speech with wild enthusiasm, almost overnight making him the white-appointed spokesman for black people. Millionaire industrialist Andrew Carnegie called him the Moses of his people and gave Tuskegee $600,000. To whites, Washington was a safe Negro who would not challenge racial apartheid. Washington became the most powerful Negro in America and resorted to ruthless methods to silence black critics who opposed his philosophy of accommodation. To Ellison, who attended Tuskegee, Washington was a prime example of black leadership that is more interested in maintaining personal power than in helping their people.